Okay, so for now, we are in well history, well production tables in well history. Okay. All right. Okay, so to populate this table with num numbers, with data, we can do that manually. For example, we can open the drop down menu and we select, for example, well one at 1st January 2010 produce with oil flow rate of 100, all right, standard meter cubic in per day, and also water rate, the gas rate, the liquid rate, this is the reservoir liquid rate, gas injection rate, and others. And the table is quite long, okay? But we have 33 data, 33 wells, so it will be very troublesome for us if we want to do that manually. So I will import the pre-existing table for production history. I have prepared that along with the rescue file. So I will click this one, import table. We can import history one table import history group by wells if we have the well groups, import history in Morris format, and import history field history file format. Okay, we will use one table, right? We have import wells history window, user for use for identification, the name, well production table name will be well history, and at rows, and we will take the data. And the data is actually this one, CAS history. The production history data is written in this text document file, text document file. Okay, click open. And T Navigator will, will read the table. And in that document file, we have several columns. First column, well, date, oil rate, water rate, water injection rate. This is, and this one, and also skip line. Make sure all the units are okay. So now we are currently using these units, liquid rate, gas rate, everything in metric. Okay, so far so good, it's okay. Click history. And we will take the well, this one as well. And I want to skip this one, okay? I want to skip this one. And I can do that with, yeah, or this one first, skip line. Yeah. And also the date format is, yeah, DD dot mm as month and year in four numbers okay all right let me check we can click okay all right now we have this one the table or maybe we need to do some modification because actually this one is actually bottom hole pressure. Okay, so let me check. Yeah, we need to delete this one. Okay, and then well production table, right click, create. Okay, well production table. Click OK, and this one will be well history. OK, we are now in the well history. Again, import, import one table. OK, we have that already. Now this one is actually 
bottom hole pressure. Okay. So we have well, date, oil rate, water rate, water injection rate, and bottom hole pressure. And the others will be skipped. That's why we use skip line. And also this one skip lines. So it will, it means this first line is skip. That's why you see gray colors like this one. Okay. If we change it to two or zero to two, or unfortunately, I click enter too early. Create well history. Okay. And then import in one table, this one. This is bottom hole pressure. You see, if I click or if I write two, you see the second line, the second row will be gray. Okay. If I use three, three lines will be gray, will be inactive. Okay, first line, second line, third line. I just want to skip this one. That's why skip lines only one. Okay, you see, everything is inactive. It will not be stored in this main table. That's the meaning of it. Okay, so click OK. All right, this is the table that we want. We have oil rate, water rate, water injection rate, everything in zero and also bottom hole flowing pressure okay all right now i'm not comfortable with many columns here empty so i can click this one anything on the top right click select columns select non-empty columns. So I will only select all the non-empty columns. This one. So I will uncheck automatically all the empty columns. Click OK. All right. So you can see we have well, first column, second column date, oil flow rate, water flow rate, water injection rate, zero. Okay, no water injection well. And bottom hole flowing pressure in 30 bars absolute. Okay, so far so good. Now the well structure, the perforation history. 